Hello. Huh. Oh no. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, because... Never mind. The Transfiguration. Always, my queen's counting. He goes into way more detail than I will, or even could, possibly. And feel free to leave your own stuff down below. And Inspiring Philosophy has already probably debunked your supposed contradiction or error. Anyway, Mark, chapter 9, verses 2 through 13. Six days after Jesus, no, six, after six days, Jesus took Peter, James, and John <coughs> with him and led him, them up a high mountain where they were all alone. There was, there he was transfigured before them. His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. Interesting. And there appeared before them Elijah and Moses, the prophets and the law. <clears throat> Elijah is seen as the head of the prophets. Moses is the guy who the law came from. Well, it came from God, but through Moses, you, you, know, you know what I mean. So, the prophet and the law. Prophets and the law. are being represented here. Both. Who were talking with Jesus. The thing is, they both had moments with God. On mountains. <coughs> and some believe the same mountain, Mount Sinai. But they're not on Mount Sinai now. Actually, think about where they are. They're in Israel, Israel, a place Moses was told he couldn't go, but only could see. I mean, people think about that. Something Mark Wiener pointed out. See? That's get you interested. Peter said to Jesus, <coughs> Rabbi, it is good for us to be here. Let us put there... Let us put up three shelters on oh, some translation tabernacles. Anyway, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. Did not know what to say. They were so frightened. <clears throat> A lot of people think Mark um, was inspired by Peter. Like Mark listened to Peter, was told this by Peter. Peter Pop, if. Probably is true, so Peter wrote, told Mark about this little detail. I think some people think Mark and Peter are the same person. Anyway, then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, who I am, no, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked uh, around... There he no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. The law and the prophets disappeared. A voice said, this is my son, listen to him. And then the law, the guy representing the law, the guy representing the prophets, disappeared. Because Jesus fulfilled the law, fulfilled the prophecies. Listen to him. 
As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until the Son of Man had risen from the dead. <clears throat> you think just hearing the idea that he may be a Messiah would start a riot. This, oh, this will cause a full-scale rebellion in Judah, the region of Judah, against Rome. They kept mm, the matter to themselves, discussing what risen from the dead meant. <coughs> and this may seem a little weird, like risen from the dead it means he's going to come back to life. <coughs> he's going to die and then not be dead anymore. <laughs> yes, but remember, the Jewish idea of the Messiah is... Kind of lowly, if you think about it. Uh, but it is that Messiah is just going to come up, destroy Israel's enemies, and that's it. What about all the sin of the world? No, 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 just destroy Israel's enemies. <clears throat> what about all the stuff? Others? No, no, just destroy Israel's enemies. <clears throat> Yeah, that there was going to be, a, especially back then, a big revolt against Rome. The Messiah was going to lead it and defeat and destroy Rome and free Israel. Because Moses freed Israel from a foreign oppressor. I mean, he led Israel out and didn't really fight Egypt, but yeah, the. the <sighs> He was more of a lawgiver and... Yeah. Anyway. They asked him, Why did the teachers of the law say that Elijah must come first? <clears throat> Jesus replied, To be sure, Elijah does come first and restore all things. Why then is it written that the Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected. But I tell you, Elijah has come, and they have done to him everything they wished, just as it is written about him. Multiple places, that's 